Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Fireflows on Pop OS um, or any Ubuntu based distro. To start with, uh, open up your browser. Uh, oops. Go to fileflows.com and click on the downloads button. Uh, since we're installing the uh, Fireflow server, click server. Uh, the uh, platform is Linux, so click Linux. And this will show you install instructions how to install .NET and Fireflows. Um, Fireflows is written in .NET, so it requires a .NET runtime. Um, if you're not using an Ubuntu based distro, you can use this guy from Microsoft, which is the um, install instructions for any, um, you know, Debian, Fedora, whatever. Um, but since we are using Pop OS, we can just copy this. Uh, this is just adding the package signer key to the trusted list. So we can install it. Uh, open up terminal, paste this command. Give a password. Okay, now, we've, now we actually have to install um, .NET. So this is what this command is doing. And all these commands are taken from that linked article earlier. Alright, uh, now to test that .NET's installed, we can just type in .NET, hit enter, it's up and running. Uh, and now uh, we've got to download and install Fireflows. So uh, what this command is doing, it's just downloading the um, zip file from the server. It's saving as a fireflows.zip file. Then it's just um, extracting that to a directory called Fireflows, going into that directory and then starting the process. Um, you probably want to make this auto start um, using Linux auto start stuff. Um, but yeah, for now we'll just um, do a basic and we'll just get it up and running. Uh, so you just copy that command and paste it into terminal and enter. Alright, so now um, it's up and running. You can see it's um, on localhost 5000. So you just click that. Uh, up and running. So uh, the next part of the guide mentions uh, FMPEG. So if you want to um, use that uh, for file processing, you need to install it. So we can just open up a new terminal. Uh, type this command to, uh, to install FMPEG. Uh, so that should now be installed. Yep. Uh, so now we've got to tell um, Fireflows where it is. Um, by default, it looks for the um, location of where it's installed if you use Docker. Um, but all you have to do it says open up Fireflows UI. So you can click that. Um, then navigate to Tools and Page Add. So we go to Tools. I actually don't need to do Add. Um, just edit it, it's already added, but we've, now we've got to actually locate it. Um, so that directory doesn't exist. Uh, this is saying user bin ffmpeg. So bin, uh, oops, user bin, how to find it. Went past it. There it is. Uh, select, save it, and now um, the toolpath for FFmpeg on this um, server and the internal processing node is mapped. So now we can uh, create a new flow. We'll just do a convert video. Uh, H265, EC3, and and now um, this video and code node, which is what um, which uses FFmpeg, uh, will be our processes. And and that's it. Um, so this is 
file flows running on uh, Ubuntu or Pop! OS um, using these install instructions here. If you have any issues, um, just post a comment. Um, Discord's the best way to contact us or Reddit. Um, but yeah, post a comment on the uh, in the chat below. And um, yeah, take care. Have a good day. I'll post some more videos about installing on different operating systems later and also um, doing the node versus server. But yeah, take care. Thanks everyone. Bye.